We begin this morning with the southeast bracing for more severe weather. Powerful winds and possible tornadoes from tropical storm Nestor battered parts of central and eastern Florida overnight, creating potentially dangerous storm surge along the Florida panhandle. Right now, more than 10,000 customers have no power. Nestor did weaken overnight, but it's still packing sustained winds of 50 miles an hour and could make landfall this morning. It is putting communities still rebuilding after Hurricane Michael last year on edge as they prepare for more powerful weather. Hillary Lane is in Shell Point Beach in low-lying Crawfordville. This morning, that's about 20 miles south of Tallahassee. Hillary, good morning. Good morning. In Florida's panhandle, the winds topped out at 50 miles per hour overnight. And this morning, the wind is still gusting and the rain just starting to pick up. The beaches here are eerily quiet as the waves crash onto the shore. Dramatic cell phone video captures powerful winds lifting a semi truck and throwing it onto a moving SUV. Witnesses say it was a tornado that turned the tractor trailer onto its side. Neither of the drivers suffered injuries. The incident occurred overnight after the National Weather Service issued a tornado warning for parts of inland and coastal Florida. Another driver on the same highway recorded large chunks of hail striking their windshield. It just sounded like a big old train coming in. Residents in a Seminole Mobile home park reported damage to their homes and downed power lines. Pinellas County firefighters say a roof caved as a result of powerful winds from a possible tornado. We jumped in the tub and just as we did, the carport came off and hit the pole behind my house. In Panama City, residents are weary after Hurricane Michael decimated 75% of the city one year ago. Anything that's associated with the word storm for Mexico Beach, you know, it's, it's fresh on our minds. That's Mexico right. Beach Mayor El Cathy right says the rebuilding process after Michael has left parts of the city vulnerable to large storms. You can't have 75% of your city destroyed by a hurricane and a year later think that any disturbance in the Gulf is not concerning. Come Callie here. Holloman and Lyman Wilson oh, lost their home during Michael when a tree fell through their roof. They've since moved their family of nine into a FEMA trailer further inland. I'm more nervous than I was last time, I'll say that. And the National Weather Service is trying to determine whether it was heavy winds or a tornado that caused the damage. And while Nestor has lost steam overnight, residents here along the coast are on guard as the wind gusts and the rain continues to fall. Dana. Hillary, thank you.